Hello, so for this video we are going to take the integral from negative 1 to positive 1 of the absolute of x to the power negative 3 out of 2. Now as you can see this function here is not defined at x equals to 0 and yet our range of the limits here contains 0. So this is an improper integral. Let's see how we uh, work on this. So yes, like I said, if you look at this function here, uh, the absolute of x to the power negative 3 out of 2, I could as well write this as 1 over absolute of x to power 3 out of 2. As you can see, x cannot be 0 for this function here because otherwise we would have uh, our function equal to infinity. And by the way, if you try to graph this function here using some software or calculator, it looks like this. So you have this and this. This is the y-axis. This is the x-axis. And uh, what this integral basically says is that we have to find the area from negative 1 to positive 1 for this function. So we've got to find this area. Okay. The problem here is this function is not defined at x equals to 0. So how do we actually find this area yet uh, the function is not defined at x equals to 0? So what I'm going to do here is to break down this into two parts. I'm going to take the integral first from negative 1 to 0. And then I'll take the integral from 0 to positive 1. And I hope that works well. So I'll write this as the integral from negative 1 to 0 of this function here, negative x to the power negative 3 out of 2. I take negative because, you know, that's the negative part. Plus, I take the integral from 0 to positive 1 of x to the power 3 out of 2, dx, negative 3 out of 2, sorry. I take x because that's the positive side of it, so absolute of x equals x. Okay, now of course, these integrals here, uh, as you can see, they have limits of 0, negative 1 to 0, and 0 to 1. And we don't have 0 in the range of values here because x is not defined at x equals to 0. So perhaps the better way of writing this is to... Uh, let me do this. I'll write this in form of limits. So I could say, for example, the limit as t tends to 0. So... Instead of writing negative 1 to 0, I'll just write negative 1 to t, and I'll have negative x to the power negative 3 out of 2, dx, uh, plus the integral, sorry, uh, let me just say plus the limit, as x tends, uh, sorry, not x, t, oops, so as t tends to 0, the integral of uh, t to 1 of x to the power negative 3 out of 2 dx. So this is kind of a better way to write it because 0 is not part of the values here, but you can see that the curve approaches uh, uh, 0 from either side. So actually I should say this is the limit as, you know, uh, we approach t from the negative side because we'll be coming like this. And then this will be the limit as we approach t from the positive side. Now, for this integral to exist, each of these uh, uh, integrals, each of these limits, so to say, must exist, uh, or they should be finite. Or if one of these is uh, not defined, or if one of these limits uh, is or it diverges, I think that's a better mathematical language to use, if one of these limits diverges, then we would just say that the whole integral diverges. So let's just choose one of these and see if it converges or diverges. I'll actually take the second one. I don't know, it just looks nicer, but you could take the first one also. So let's take this. The integral, oops, there is a limit here. So the limit as t tends to zero from the positive of, uh, sorry, we are going from t to 1 of x to the power negative 3 out of 2, dx. This is the limit 
as t tends to 0 from the positive side. So what's this here? We'll have x to the power negative 3 out of 2 plus 1, that is negative 1 half. I have to divide by negative 1 half, which creates a negative 2 here. Okay, so we are going from t to 1. Alright, so this is the limit as t tends to 0 from the positive. So what do we have if I put 1 here? Uh, that's going to be negative t, sorry, negative 2, alright? If I put t here, that's going to be plus, okay, let's see, that's 2t to the power uh, negative half. I could as well say divide by root t. Okay, so what's the limit as t tends to 0 from the positive side? What's the limit of this function here? So the limit as t approaches 0 for this function here, if you just substitute in t equals to 0 here, you'll have infinity. So infinity minus 2 is just infinity. So this one here that implies, so this is just equal to infinity. So since one of these integrals diverges, we can as well conclude that the whole of this thing here diverges. So I'll just conclude here. There are four the integral of absolute of x to power negative 3 over 2 with respect to x equals infinity. Alright, thanks for watching this video. If you find this helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Leave for me a comment to tell me what you think about this. Uh, I'll see you in my next video.